Hi, this is uh, George from California. I'm just going to do a check-in and uh, chime in a little bit on biotin. Uh, last year, uh, 2015 in June, I came across an article where some studies had been done in France and they have found some uh, good results for people with progressive MS. And uh, I've had MS for 30 years. It's, I think it's secondary chronic progressive, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's chronic progressive. Anyway, the conclusion here says the preliminary data suggests that high doses of biotin might have an impact on disability and progression in progressive MS and two double-blind placebo-controlled trials are ongoing. That was last year. Uh, anyway, I showed this information to my doctor last year, and she says, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't do that. I said, I've been doing it for four months. She said, how's it helping you? I said, you know, it helps with uh, bowel and bladder control, because after 30 years, unfortunately for me, that's probably one of the most challenging things. And anyhow, it was challenging forever anyway. So anyway, I just want to share with people that uh, there is a group on Facebook. It's uh, Biotin Progressive for Progressive Multiple Sclerosis. And if you go in there and, and uh, sign up for the group, they have to allow you to sign in. It's not a big deal. And then go to files and read the files. And when I started the group, there was about 300 people, but now there's about 3,000 people. And it's full of information, and it's good stuff to read. And uh, there's always, there won't be a newbie for long there, because there's always new people coming in. And there's, uh, there's always adverse effects with any kind of medication. I mean, the first thing you, when you go to the doctor, it says, are you allergic to anything? Of course, you know. So we know everything isn't safe, that's for sure. But... And I know there's people out there that have dizziness, dizziness and other people that have uh, in, already have spasticity and then they're taking this biotin and it makes it worse, they have to stop. But then there's some people that are success stories. It helps them. Uh, it really does. For me, uh, I have a, with my bladder is my big problem. Every time I go out, even though I'm taking Vesicar and that helps, I'm still looking for a bathroom to go to the bathroom, you know? It's just, it's just a, it's a total inconvenience, and I have complete disdain for it. And I, anyway, uh, biotin has helped me. It gives me more bladder control, uh, less frequency. I'm able to start to stream better, avoid more. Uh, some guy on there one time wrote, "I can pee like a man," so I, I can pee like a man, <laughs> whatever that means. Anyway, this is biotin for progressive multiple sclerosis. It's helping some people. There's a group on Facebook, uh, and and there's a lot of information. I'm not saying do this. I'm not a qualified medical practitioner. Of it. Not, no, no, not me. This is a disclaimer. I'm not saying do this. I'm just saying this is information that's out there, and I'm participating in it. And see, started June 13th. I know the day. Everybody starts their own way. So mine's a long story, but forget that. And so now we're in January 25th or something like that. And I'm thinking that it's really helping me. I'm grateful for it. I'm just sharing this information because MS, any small victory with in MS that helps us manage our symptoms improves our quality of our life, and that's really what we want. So I don't know if we'll ever be able to really return to normal. I, don't, I was looking at my foot this morning I'm thinking no way that's going to ever get better but I'm still managing I'm still walking around and I'm still happy to be alive and my quality of life is pretty good and I wish the same for everybody else out there have a great day bye